Let's ultrasound. On today's edition, let's talk about the complex mass on breast ultrasound. The third category of breast cysts is known as a complex mass. And this is a mass that has both solid and cystic components. And this may be a solid mass that's actually within a milk duct or within a cyst. A papilloma or cancer is always a concern with a complex mass. However, this could also be fibrocystic changes in the breast. A complex mass can be either benign or malignant, so it's important to pay attention to the features of that specific mass. Features that raise the level of suspicion of a complex mass are internal vascularity, irregular margins, such as spiculated, angular, or microlobulated margins, thick septations, greater than one millimeter in thickness, thick walls of the cyst, a vertical orientation, this is a taller than wide orientation on the ultrasound image, Don't forget, skyscrapers or taller than wide masses are a suspicious ultrasound feature. Any suspicious calcifications within the mass can increase the level of suspicion of the mass. The ultrasound appearance of a complex mass is highly variable and dependent on whether the mass is suspicious or more benign in nature. It may or may not have debris or internal echoes within the cystic components of the complex mass, and this debris can be mobile or stationary. The walls of a complex mass can be thin or thick. The solid components of a complex mass may or may not display vascularity. A complex mass also may or may not have thick septations, and thick septations are septations that are greater than one millimeter thick. A complex mass is generally round or oval, and generally the cystic components are avascular. However, if there's mobile debris within the cystic components, this can mimic the appearance of a Doppler signal on ultrasound. Complex masses generally have posterior acoustic enhancement, and they will have a complex echogenicity with both solid and cystic components, and also a heterogeneous ultrasound echo texture. 